Hi everyone! The final episode of the series Fellow Travelers was full of surprises and twists, making us think about the bold themes and messages of the show, even with all the steamy sex scenes. The show did a great job of telling a complex story that spanned over 30 years, and the makeup artists deserve a lot of praise for making the characters look realistic and believable. The episode starts with Hawk getting a phone call from Lucy, who comes to San Francisco to confront her husband. Hawk has been neglecting his family, especially as Tim's health gets worse. Tim has been hiding his true self for almost 30 years, pretending to be a happy family man. But when Tim's life is in danger, the truth comes out and Hawk and Lucy's marriage falls apart. Hawk is determined to get Tim a meeting with the governor of California, hoping to use his government experience to influence the AIDS policies. A flashback shows us how Hawk has been pulling strings for Tim, even getting him a job at a government agency when Tim was in the military. Hawk's actions helped them reconnect after Tim's service, and when Hawk shows him their new apartment in Washington, D.C., he jokes that he is the model of marital faithfulness. The finale wouldn't be complete without one more hot sex scene, and Hawk and Tim have a meaningful moment, where Hawk lets Tim take charge, showing a change in their power dynamics. But their chance of getting back together is ruined when Lucy sees a hickey on Hawk's neck. The show has always shown Hawk as a selfish and shady character, who puts himself first and hurts his loved ones. In a desperate move, Hawk betrays Tim by sending his information to the Munit, a former office that exposes government scandals. Tim finds out about Hawk's betrayal from their friend Mary, and he is banned from working for the government ever again. Hawk has to face the consequences of his actions, and the story builds up to Tim's final opportunity to make a difference by meeting the governor of California. Hawk tries to get him a spot at the governor's fundraiser dinner, but Tim has a hard time because of his recent hospital stay and his visible marks. The climax happens when Hawk tries to fix things by telling the truth about his relationship with Tim, but Tim has other plans. Tim outsmarts Hawk and uses an invitation to stage a sit-in protest to raise money for AIDS, leading to a sad goodbye between the two. Hawk breaks down in front of Tim's name on the AIDS memorial quilt, crying over their memories. This is a powerful symbol not only of Tim's legacy, but also of Hawk's feeling. The tears on the quilt represent a lifetime of secrets and regrets, and a chance for honesty. This emotional moment is not just about Hawk, but also about the wider social issue of AIDS stigma. Tim's name on the quilt is a silent statement against the blame, fear, and hate that were common in that time. It shows the importance of recognizing and addressing the effects of social ignorance and prejudice. Hawk's open vulnerability is a stark contrast to his earlier manipulation. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and give feedback.